Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and in today's video I'm gonna tell you how you can set up a Google Alert. But before we get started, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what a Google Alert is. Google Alerts are a way to monitor some subjects or matters that are important for you. If you are a content creator like me and you haven't set up a Google Alert, you are missing out. This is a free tool that Google provides with the Google search engine and this is a way that you can get email notifications every time that Google found something related to that matter. Let's say you're interested in new air fryer recipes. So you will be setting a Google alert for air fryer recipe and then you will get every day or depending how often you are going to set up this alert, you will be getting this email where Google sends you everything that it's found on the web during that day about air fryer recipes. Maybe you wanna know more about NASA notifications, spaceships or something in a specific and you will be getting those news directly to your inbox if you set up these Google alerts. And the best thing is that it's free. Now let's go to the fun part and let's go to my computer to show you how you can set up your own Google Alerts. You will go to your browser and I'm gonna be using Google Chrome in this case. And what you're gonna do is to type google.com and then slash alerts. If you are already logged into your Gmail or Google account, you will be displaying your profile right here. And this will be the email account that Google will be using to send the alerts that you are asking for. In this case, I'm going to type for air fryer recipes. It says show options. You can just create alert and it will be choosing the default options that are selected right here. Right here it says how often, then you will choose whatever you want as it happens at most once a day or once a week. I'm going to choose once a day and then in sources you will say automatics or if you want specific sources you can select the ones that are available right here. On language you can select the language that is available right here and you can also select the country or the region which you want to get these uh, notifications. Maybe you want to only get news about these that are happening on your country. Also, how many? You can select only the best results or all results. And you can choose where do you want to get these notifications. At the moment, it has my email and also RSS feed. Okay, so I'm going to select my email and then you click on create alert button. This is a preview of what you will be getting. This is the news, seven easy air fryers, all the sources are, for example, CBS News, The New York Times, MSN, Yahoo, GoDaily Free. So I'm going to click on create alert. Now I can see my alert right here. I can choose to edit or to delete it from here and also I can choose when to receive your alerts. Delivery time you can select here 8 a.m. at whatever day it works better for you and you can also choose to receive all your alerts that you have set up in one single email and once you select this option you will click on save in this case i'm going to choose 11 a.m and i'm going to click on save and i'm going to show you an example of what i've been getting for google alerts okay so because of the lockdown i need some more kids activities to entertain my kids so what i did was to create a google alert for kids activities and i have this here i'm gonna show it to you and this is an example of what you get you get google alert subject with kids activities and then you have here all the activities that were found 
on everywhere during January 25th and you can see all the sources as well there is one a YouTube video and there are some others here and you just choose whatever it's more interesting to you and you can just uh, click on that and you will have the activities or whatever you are looking for. So this is a great way for you to find new content or new ideas for yourself, your business, your family or your kids. I hope this video was useful for you and if it was, please don't forget to click on the like button and on that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye bye!